What's going on my friends? Welcome to a very impromptu video that I wasn't planning on making, hence why it's a bit shorter and a bit all over the place, but pretty much I was out doing a Facebook marketplace after my run today and I did a pickup, which I'll show you very, very soon. And then I decided, hey, I'm close enough to the op shops. Maybe I'll duck in there, oh, there's two nearby. Maybe I'll duck in there and see how much money or potential money I can make in 10 minutes and just show you that in just 10 minutes, you can actually make some pretty good money thrifting, even when prices are pretty expensive. So I ducked into one of the local vinnies. That was the first one, and that's where I got pretty much all this stuff. They have recently gone under new management, and they're usually pretty expensive, and there was a lot of stuff that was pretty expensive. I got a fair bit of stuff, and I'm actually quite surprised that it wasn't more expensive than it was. Uh, so probably maybe a bit of luck there, but overall there were still some good things that could have been a bit prof more profitable, all kinds of things like that. But I'm just going to show you exactly what I picked up today and just show 10 minutes, how much money can we make? I'll try and put like a running total or something up here somewhere and show you exactly what we got. And then at the end, I'll show you that Facebook marketplace pickup I got. It's just one item, but it should make me close to 150. So I'll show you these first. This was from this big Salvo stores. Uh, they had pretty much nothing nothing really that great uh so yeah and then we'll go through the vinnies because everything else except this one thing was from vinnies uh it's just a pair of men's size 10 uh really good condition uh it's not focusing for some reason but the the uh asics gel excite 8 i believe they were yep gel excite 8 i've sold the gel excites 3 before for about 30 bucks so i'm hoping these will be you know, even 30 to 40, it's pretty good. I don't know if it'll work this time, but yeah, there you go. You can see $4, pretty good condition overall. Can't complain. Uh, I'm always looking out for shoes because I love selling them. Don't find nearly enough of them. But uh, yeah, so four bucks for that, pretty good. Then there was this big fella here. Uh, there's actually no comps on eBay. There's a few listed, none sold, but it will probably sell on Depop. It's this big sweater. It's like a grandma sort of knit looking thing it's got the real big open sort of knit kind of style and it's a it's a brand that i sell i often sell the suit blazers of this brand uh but it's uh, there we go bettini sportswear size large really good it is 100 percent pure wool uh and it actually is really kind of soft nice really great condition the only problem was there wasn't a price tag on it so i went up to them and they're going oh we love this jumper it's fantastic oh it's just beautiful uh i wouldn't be caught dead in it does it suit me if it suits me let me know and i might might wear it for video that uh yeah they said oh you know eight bucks will be fine and then the woman next to her sort of looked and was like that would have been more than eight bucks and she's going well i've told him eight bucks so i'll sell it to him for eight bucks so I was like, yeah, sure, why not? We'd probably get 40, maybe 50 uh, for this over on Depop. Not the right time of year coming into summer, but it doesn't matter. Someone will pick that up. It's really, really cool. I, I do like it quite a bit. So I'll list that up soon and see how we go. And then for not too much, got this good old pair of the old Faithful brand, which is usually really expensive these days. The old RM Williams, these ones pretty damn good just a plain black sort of straight leg kind of thing uh and they are a size they were made in 2007 size 35 so pretty good pretty happy with that i'm trying to cover my face because it keeps focusing on my face but yeah pretty good more of a modern ish pair but yeah really really good condition uh yeah can't go wrong with that nowhere on the cuffs nothing so perfect uh all these jeans for seven bucks so yeah, I was really surprised when I saw that. Seven bucks. Yeah, it's a, it's a no-brainer. And then we saw these were all in the row. So I guess it's kind of kind of cheesy, kind of kind of easy and cheesy. I'll put up comps for each of these ones there. So these are a pair of Levi's 516s, size 40, waist 30, inseam, which isn't the best sizing. Definitely authentic. Everything checks out. Everything looks fantastic there. And uh, yeah. Pretty good, good nick, just basic. Pair of Levi's, but I pay double what I pay for these uh, when it comes to my wholesaler. So if I get the chance to see Levi's, most of the time if they're around that $7 marks, between five and $7, I don't really look at comps. I just pick them up because someone will buy them on one of the platforms that I sell on. Uh, these ones here, there we go, are, uh, these ones I was really quite happy with. I thought they'd have these priced up at like $15, $20 like they usually do. Uh, it's a modern pair. 
But the old Levi's 505 3834, that really long inseam is a fantastic thing when you look at the jeans. People do like that because it fits a certain different demographic of people. But um, yeah, people with long legs. But yeah, once again, fantastic conditioning. Uh, condition overall a little bit of whiskering on the back there, but that doesn't really make a massive difference The main thing is they're super clean. So I can pretty much just chuck them straight up I'll throw them through wash still, but yeah, really really great. They should be worth a fair bit The 505s are just a classic style. You see a lot of them uh, So they might take a little longer to sell but you usually get about 30 to 40 bucks for them So can't complain with that. It's a bit of an older pair here. The Levi's 504s once again size 38 I'll presume it's the same sort of person who uh, donated all of these here, so yeah, it's definitely quite good. Uh, he's removed the inner tags by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, but once again, yeah. There we go, really good condition. Not hemmed, really important thing to check when you're doing your jeans is just check and make sure that they haven't been hemmed. So yeah, you don't want to, you don't want them to be hemmed. That'll just pretty much throw all the value out the door, so. Yeah, you don't want that. Don't want that. And then the last thing that I got at the op shops. Once again, guys, pretty much one shop, 10 minutes all up. I was probably eight minutes in this one, two minutes in the other one, maybe. It might be 12 minutes, I don't know. But yeah, you can make some decent money. Of course, you have to still do all the listing and stuff, but the hard part is actually sourcing it. And then we've got another pair of 516s there. 38 ways, so I'd say it would be from the same person there. Another relatively modern pair, but... Yeah, pretty pretty good, as you can see. Everything is in great condition. They've really looked after all these jeans. So yeah, certainly not gonna complain about that. So I think my total cost was like just under 30 bucks or whatever. Anyway, $7 a piece plus $8 for the jumper. So that's fine. And then that's all. And then I quickly wanna show you this Facebook Marketplace pickup that I got. I saw it come up, quickly did a comp research and then messaged straight away, which I'm lucky I did because a lot of other people ended up messaging but it was okay so there's a charger and there's the other part of the charger uh and she threw in a free carry case which was nice as well uh it's not the same brand but that's good but if you don't know uh nikon cameras are really really popular uh but this is the nikon cool pics whatever what it was aw100 uh it's like a waterproof sort of more of an action kind of camera -y thing there Really great condition overall. Uh, yeah, little bit of cosmetic wear down there just on the numbers. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, and then, yeah, once again, on the screen there, you can see everything looks really good. Great condition. Good model of camera to look up. Uh, there's a few that have sold in not working order for 100. Um, but this one here will be probably about two to 250 based on the working comps of really good condition cameras. This one is one of them. So I was really happy with that. I uh, paid 40. So definitely not upset with that. 40 into 200. Yeah, after fees and postage, I'll probably make 130, 140 bucks. So quick pickup, really nice lady. And yeah, got that done and dusted really quick. So yeah, I'll whack some comps up. I've probably already put them up. But yeah, so it just goes to show guys, if you look in the right places, uh, there's plenty of money to be made out there. I've started doing a bit more sourcing on Facebook Marketplace. I did get uh, a phone the other day, I think it was. I've still got it. I've been sort of holding fast on the price, but it was an iPhone 13 Pro Max, uh, 256 gigabyte uh, with a smashed screen. I uh, got it for 120 and that thing sells upwards of sort of with a smashed screen, seven, $800. So I'm holding fast around that uh, $700 mark. And I've had a couple $500 offers. If I get another one, I probably will take it, to be quite honest. So um, yeah, if you want a good phone, cheap price, let me know, it's pretty good. But yeah, uh, that's all. If you look in the right place, plenty of money to be made, but just uh, it's just about putting in the reps, putting the reps, go to those up shops. You never know what you might find. It was one o'clock in the afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon when I went there, just got home, walked through the door, showed you this, but yeah. You wouldn't think most of the time you don't go into op shops. I don't go into op shops around lunchtime because you think they've been picked over. But yeah, clearly there's still plenty to be made. So hope you did enjoy the video, guys. Bit of a quick little haul vid. Uh, yeah, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.